Hi everyone, today's project is a super glam easy DIY wall clock and I'm starting out by spray painting a hula hoop which I got at 5 below on summer clearance for $2 in metallic gold. Next I'm using some uh, beveled mirror tiles that I had for my last project, the wall sconces, if you haven't seen that please check it out and I'm using these as my markers for the 3, 6, 9 and 12 position. I'm simply hot gluing them on. If you want something more permanent, of course, use some strong glue. I just made sure that they were sitting level on the hula hoop. And honestly, I'm just using uh, my eye to kind of balance the four points out. I forgot to mention I poked a hole in the back with a screwdriver like this. And here I just widened the hole a little bit. Then I used a nail. I stuck the nail in the back of the hole and had pre-hammered a hole into the wall and then secured the hula hoop on the wall. And this is what it looks like so far. Of course we're going to take it a step further. I have a 14 inch round mirror and an 8 inch beveled mirror. And then I'm using this heavy duty velcro on the back of the small mirror to adhere it to the larger mirror. Again, I didn't measure anything, I'm just using my eye to center it and made sure that it was secure. Now it's time for the clock and I've ordered along with the clock uh, these carbon zinc batteries which it indicated it needed. It was as simple as one, two, three, putting that clock together. You just put the hour hand first and the minute and then the second hand, stick the battery in. And I used the mounting hole as my guide for the 12 o'clock position. The instructions are provided with the clock on how to set everything up. And I will provide a link to all of the products that I've used for this project in the description below. One of the things it says, do not move the hands with your fingers, use the dial to do it, to set it up. I really wasn't sure what color clock to use at first. I wanted to get gold or silver, but I'm so happy I went with black. I thought at the time that I could just spray paint it, it and it all worked out perfectly. I can't wait to show you what it all looks like and how it all comes together once the final bedroom makeover is complete. So I stuck a small piece of Velcro on the battery pack of the back of the clock to adhere it to the mirror and I'm hoping that I can just easily remove it once the battery needs replacement. If all fails I guess the uh, Velcro will have to be replaced but I think that's no big deal. And then I stuck plenty of more velcro pieces on the large mirror, that part that will hang on the wall to make absolutely sure that it will not fall. You can also use those command strips for that but I haven't really had too much luck with those and I have a little bit more faith in this velcro. It may cause a little bit of wall damage once you remove it again but I think you know that's not a huge deal, you know a wall can be repaired but do whatever you are comfortable with. Then I started removing the backing from all of the velcro to be able to adhere it to the wall. I would say stick the velcro on that large mirror first without removing the backing and then work on the front part of it to make it easier. Then I proceeded to mount the mirror clock on the wall, making sure that the mounting hole was in the 12 o'clock position. And again, just used my eyes to kind of gauge where the center would be. And strangely enough, it's usually right on the money. I love how this turned out, the tricolor design, the double mirrors, and some of the things really just kind of hit me. You know, at night usually when I lay in bed I think of stuff or as I'm doing the project. But anyway, 
Imagine this on a black wall, how stunning that would be. But you will see how it all looks together with the other black in the room and the gold and silver once I reveal my final bedroom makeover, which I hope you stay tuned in for. I want to thank all of you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.